Hi, good morning. Good morning. Would it be okay if we ask you some questions? Sure. Who is your style icon? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, Senora Munoz is always looking pretty snappy over in the Spanish department, but um, if you're talking like actual people, there was a um, French teacher here who retired named um, um, Madame Severino, you guys probably don't remember because it was a while ago, but her daughter was like a guest judge on Project Runway and she does a bunch of stuff in New York and she promotes a lot of body positivity, so I follow her. Ooh. What is your favorite art technique? Ooh. I kind of feel like I fall in love with whatever I'm teaching at the moment. Um, but the first thing, I guess this is popping into my head now, but sometimes like after you do a watercolor or a charcoal painting, when you pull off the tape that you used to hold it down, it makes this really clean line and it's super satisfying. Like it just feels good. <laughs> what is a class you can never teach? Oh, maybe gym. I feel like that's really high energy. I mean, not that I'm, I don't like to work out. I just, I just don't know if I can handle that. Good job, bots. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite thing about teaching art? Um, I would say probably the students. Um, <laughs> um, I, I think the relationships that um, you make with students is pretty great. And then even when they graduate, you can follow them on social media and see where they're at, and that's really pretty awesome. How did last year affect your teaching style for this year? Oh. I would say, if I learned anything last year, it's that sometimes you just have to prioritize what's most important, like keeping things simple. I think that's maybe good all the time, not just, not just in a pandemic year. Yeah. What medium are you best with and what medium is your favorite? Um, I, I would say I really enjoy printmaking a lot. Um, and anything probably two-dimensional mixed media. Although I do really enjoy the potter's wheel too. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, sweet, salty, or savory? I would say this time of year, sweet. Christmas cookies. Do you have a secret talent? Um, I'm a pretty decent water skier, and I'm learning to speak Cherokee, but it's not really a talent yet. It's more of like in process. I hope it'll be a talent in a few years. <laughs> How would you define beauty? Uh, do you mean like, People beauty or just like the concept of beauty? Either one. Um, for people, I would say, I, I mean, when you, when you take a figure drawing class, when you study people, you really learn to appreciate just any subtle, just little things that you just, you start to realize that everybody's beautiful. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but it's true. You just really, you start to recognize a certain curve and faces that maybe classically aren't considered beautiful, you just really see the beauty in, which I think is kind of a gift, like that artists sort of receive when they learn to draw. Um, but just, I think in general, like, otherwise it's sort of just like personality kind of shines through. Yeah. So. What is the best compliment you've ever received? Um, this is random, but it was from a dog. <laughs> One time in college I had to, the assignment was to sculpt this apple, and I sculpted it, and I painted it, and I took it home, and I had it sitting on a shelf, and then all of a sudden we heard this mad barking from the basement, and we went downstairs, and the dog thought it was real, and he tried to eat it, so I was very flattered that he thought my sculpture looked so real, and he tried to eat it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.